Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing my Ipsy and Birchbox unboxing. Even though Ipsy doesn't come in a box, it comes in a bag. I actually got my Ipsy a few days ago. It actually came super early this time. It's been coming really early, um, I must say. I think last month too, like by, let's say by like the 11th, 12th of the month, it was on my uh, mailbox. So I was very happy about that. In my birch box, I got it today, so it's pretty much a little, a few days later. Like it takes pretty much two weeks uh, for a birch box to get here, and Ipsy just a little under two weeks. So let me stop rambling and let's get right to it. So this is Ipsy for this month, and it's such a cute little bag. Uh, it's like coral and that like mint uh, green. I love the little uh, designs on it. And it has a little line, like a little lining inside. So it's a really cute, um, I like this bag a lot this month. So when you open it, you have the little card. And this month they put Luster Lux, Katie, on the front. And she's one of my favorite YouTubers ever. She's so, fo so funny. Um, and it says, hello spring. So here we got Organic Surge Daily Care. Comforting hand and nail cream. And lavender meadow. Hmm, it's pretty cute. Uh, it's a pretty good sample uh, size. Oh, love the smell. Very, very soothing. I really like it. I do dishes like all day long, so this is really nice to always leave it by the sink or leave it on the table. You know, like just something to have handy. Uh, I put one in my bag. On the back, it says this quickly absorbed. Cream moisturizes and softens hard-working hands and cuticles. Essential oils and glycerin uh, nourish and prevent moisture loss. To soothe and protect your skin. Massage onto your hands and nails whenever needed. Hmm. Nice. So this is from Organic Surge, I think. I um, hope I'm not butchering the name, but... It's a really cute sample. So continuing with the moisturizing um, wagon, we have uh, First Aid Beauty, which I've always wanted to try this, um, even before I even saw it was an option on MC, but I've seen this on Sephora like quite a few times. But this is the First Aid Beauty uh, Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. Replenish, smooth, and soften. Safe for sensitive skin. So this is a serum and it's a pretty good size because you only need like a very tiny bit. And I cheated a little bit and I've already used this three times. And I must say it really, really helps just intensify your moisturizer. Like it's like really, really hydrating for your skin and that's what a serum is supposed to do. It's supposed to intensify whatever you put on top of it. So at night, I took off my makeup, I washed my face, uh, cleaned everything out, and I applied this, and then I let it absorb, you know, I let my skin absorb for a few minutes, and then I go, and it really dries to like, it just feels like you have nothing on. Um, and then I went in with my moisturizer, and it really, like, I woke up in the morning, and my skin would still like really moisturize. I really do love getting serums because, and like skincare, you know, in general, because it's so expensive and it's where I spend the most money. Um, you know, obviously I splurge here and they all makeup, but skincare to me is where like my money goes <laughs> the fastest and the hardest. So I'm always happy to get some skincare. So next we have, um, Eyeshadow. This is from Menacadar. I hope I'm saying this right. And I think it's an eyeshadow. Um, it's in the shade. It's in the shade Fantasy. So it's a really pretty um, shimmery shade. It's like that, um, like you know, like a taupe shimmery brownish shade. Very pretty. Very pigmented too. Very powdery. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but. I like it. This would be really nice as a um, highlighter too, I think. So I've never heard this brand before, but I'm always happy to try new things. And 
I love a little shimmer um, eyeshadow, so pretty happy with that. So next we have a lippy from NYX. This is the uh, Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, and this is in the shade... What is the shade? Pink Lust. Yes, Pink Lust. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know that I would wear this, but let's I I have to see. I don't know. Let me see how it, whoa. Whoo! It is it's like Barbie pink. The formula is actually pretty cool. It's a very uh, like matte bright pink. So I don't know. I might give this a try. It's a pretty pretty cool um finish though. It's a pretty nice formula. So we'll see. If I don't wear it, I'll probably pass it to a friend. Um, but it's always nice. It's a pretty, it's like the full size. So it's always nice to get a lippy. I mean, I like to get lippies. I have tons of lipsticks or lip products. So this is pretty cool. And it's NYX, everybody knows NYX. Um, I've never tried the actual suede uh, lip creams or cream lipsticks before, so I'm gonna give this a try, and I'm never afraid of color, so we'll see. But happy about that too. So last we have, um, this is the Beauty Blush Duo from Pixie by Petra, and it's in the shade Rose Gold. So it's a highlighter and a blush, uh, it's a duo. So you have your highlighter here and your blush. And I also cheated and I used this today for my highlight and I am pretty happy with how this turned out it's very pretty it's very powdery and like buttery um, not powdery buttery and pigmented uh, I didn't try the blush but they are both shimmery so if you don't like shimmery blushes you might it's not like overwhelmingly um, shimmery but in the highlighter it's more like a golden um, highlighter like a warmer gold but I really like look at that it's pretty right so I'm very happy with that too I would give Ipsy five stars this month you know everyone's different and everybody has different preferences but this month I personally am very satisfied with my Ipsy so good job Ipsy so now on to Birch Box and look at how cute this box is it has that same um, springy, obviously, uh, feeling to it, and the shades are super like pastel and gold, and so pretty. I love this box. So first we have Living Proof, which is a pretty, pretty expensive uh, high-end brand. So this is, so this is the PhD Fresh Cut Split End Mender. Ah, nice. So the full size goes for twenty-four dollars, and it says new. A lightweight lotion that instantly seals split ends, giving you that freshly cut feeling. Hmm. I wonder how you use it. So it says, for best results, apply to damp and dry hair, focusing on ends. Apply to damp hair as a first step before primers and leave-ins. Apply to dry hair after styling and to touch up use as often as needed hmm pretty cool let's see if it smells like anything I have smells like it just smells like fresh like a hair salon fresh like I don't know how to explain it but I like the smell um, it's a pretty good size though if you're only gonna use a little bit for your split ends this is probably gonna last for a while so next we have another hair product so this is from number four, Hydrating Shampoo. So it comes in a little uh, bottle like that. And the full size goes, the full size goes from 34 to $72. Wowza, that's some expensive shampoo. Sulfate free, vitamin rich cleanser that repairs and protects dry, brittle hair. Okay, I'm all about that. And it says here, bonus, we added in this hydrated condition for the ultimate 
in nourishment. So there's another sample in this little packet right here. And this is the hydrated condition. And the full size goes for $36. Damn, that's expensive. But I'm excited to try that. I'm very excited to try it. It seems like my hair is going to be super nourished because I plan on using all of these products together. <laughs> One after the other, but that's pretty good. So that's pretty good. It's a little extra bonus. So instead of five items, we have six items this month. So that's pretty cool. Next we have Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil, which I got this on my Ipsy bag last month, if I'm not wrong. So I've used this oil and I have very, very dry skin. And I used it under like a more, um, I've used it under one of those uh, foundation sticks that I have. And because the foundation sticks tend to like really dry your skin and they really do dry my skin. But I have only, I only have one foundation um, in a stick form but I really love the finish of it and, but it really dries my skin. So I did, I did use this oil before I apply that foundation and I think that I just didn't wait long enough to let this like really like soak up and sink into my skin and absorb. And because when I applied my foundation it was a little too messy. Uh, I mean, I didn't like, apply this oil and like right away apply my foundation like I waited a little bit but I think it just I should have waited a little longer um so it probably would have like absorbed better but I'm gonna give it a try again and see if it works out and if it does then great because then I have two now okay so next we have the balm cosmetics this is called the Staniac Beauty Queen and the full size goes for $17. So it says here, best selling stain that gives cheeks and lips a sheer rosy tint. And then it says tip, dot onto cheeks and blend quickly. Sweep over lips to give them a wash of color. Hmm. So it's like a little stain. And it comes and you twist it open like this. And it has a, like a little lip gloss applicator. It's very, very cute. It doesn't smell like anything. And I don't know if you see that. It's like really like, compared to that, I mean, anything compared to this pink is going to be nothing. But it's a very cute, uh, like just a really like, kind of like a watercolor um, shade. It's really, really cute. So I'll give that a try and it dries pretty quickly too. So yeah, that tip was good. You better blend that quick. But I like it. It's very, very cute. So I'm excited to try this as well. And I love the balm. So lastly, we have Wilma Schumann skincare. And these are hydrating collagen eye pads. Yes, I am all about this. I have the driest under eye um, area of life. So I'm excited to try this. So the full size goes for 18 bucks. And it says here, these 100% pure collagen pads hydrate and plump the skin around your eyes for a bright, youthful look. Huh, I am excited for this. I think there's only two in here anyway. It's like I can feel one here and one over here. So on the package it says, an intense hydration boosting treatment for the eye contour area with 100% pure collagen for all skin types. Con contains soothing and hydrating ingredients will visibly and effectively improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and reduce puffiness. Super hydrating gel pads are easy to use and non-irritating. So it says directions, cleanse the area around the eyes thoroughly, open foil pack and immediately apply one pad beneath each eye. It says see drawing. I must have a little drawing on the little packets inside. 
Apply evenly to ensure a good contact with the skin. Leave on for 20 minutes. Peel and dispose. I am really, really excited for this. Um, I have never heard of this brand before, but I, you know, like I said, it was the full size is 18 bucks. I don't know if it's 18 bucks for just like one, uh, like one time use, but if it is, it's pretty expensive if you ask me, but I'm really, really excited to try this because all of these things, I'm all about these things, tightening and soothing and hydrating and getting rid of puffiness. I love all of that. So I am excited about this. So that's it. Those are all the products. And if you're not familiar with Ipsy and Birchbox, they are both 10 bucks a month. And like I said before, they usually ship by the second week of the month. And both of them, you go online and you have like a bunch of questions that, you know, you fill out your preferences and, you know, sometimes they will be a hit, sometimes they will be a miss. But Overall, I would say I'm very happy with both of them. Um, I kind of wish Birchbox didn't put so many hair products um, on the box this month. But however, I am happy because I, my hair needs a little help. Yeah, I think that's it. I'll be linking everything down below uh, in the description box. Also my social media. I'm very, very active on Instagram. Um, I've been doing this like mini tutorials now that are literally just 15 seconds long and I usually post daily on Instagram. Um, I haven't got around to fix my lighting <laughs> over here with this camera so I filmed a tutorial and it was a pretty pretty bomb look and I was really really upset because my light was too bright and you could barely see like that I even had a nose. So I couldn't upload it and I was really sad because you know it takes a long time and you you know you use your products and whatnot so I was just upset that I couldn't upload it. That's it for this video. If you receive Ipsy or Birchbox or both of them uh, let me know in the comments down below what you got because I am very curious and I want to know. I want to know what you love it, what you hate it, if you got a different shade of something. I just want to know what you got so we can have a little chat. Uh, so leave me a comment down below and let me know. And as always, if you like this video, if you found it helpful and if you learned something new, please give me a thumbs up with swatches and everything uh, because it really, really helps my channel. And I promise I will be back with another tutorial. I just have to figure this lighting situation and we'll be good to go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.